In this video, we're going to go over how a heat pump works. And so I've drawn out a diagram here, and what we have are three main components for a heat pump system. One is our indoor air handler. This can either be a gas furnace or an electric furnace. Uh, the main component that we're going to be using is the blower motor. Uh, we have an indoor coil that we're running refrigerant through, and we're connecting this indoor coil to an outdoor coil slash compressor via two copper refrigerant lines. And what's happening is we're taking the cold air that's inside the house, we're drawing it through this return air duct, we're filtering that air, and we're running it over a hot indoor coil and then distributing that heat throughout the house. But how did we get that heat when it's so cold outside? So uh, a lot of people don't understand this concept, but we have, uh, even though the outdoor ambient temperature may be 40 degrees or below, we have what's called latent heat in the air outside. It's heat that can be absorbed. It's not heat that you can feel. Um, so it's not sensible heat. Um, but what we're doing is we're taking and we're running cold refrigerant through this outdoor unit. And we're because that refrigerant is so cold, all the latent heat in the air is attracted to that coil. So we're taking, we're absorbing that heat into that refrigerant and then we're rushing it through to this indoor unit where we're distributing that through the house. So unlike an air conditioner that takes the heat inside your house and expels it through the outdoor unit, we're drawing heat in through this heat pump, this outdoor unit, and then we're expelling it through this coil through your duct system. So it's the exact opposite of how an air conditioner works. And that's the main difference between a heat pump and an air conditioner is a heat pump has a reversing valve that allows us to flow that refrigerant both ways and reverse the process. And that is how a heat pump works.